So this problem we have exercise three, three. Let's draw this one out. We've got a current source and we've got a really nice supernova there with a resistor coming down. We've got another resistor coming up. We've got another resistor in between. And we also have a voltage source in here coming down to this node. We have another resistor coming out. And we have another power supply pumping 20. This is the super amount of power supplies here. Look at all this. All right, let's get our, this is two, this is two, this is 10, this is four, this is four, this is 20, this one is 12. Everything labeled? Yep, so we're gonna solve this one the same way we solve all of them. One ref node, we come down here, make that two label node voltages. So what do we got for this one? We're gonna get a V1, we're gonna get a V2, and we're gonna get a V3. Those are our three voltages. Uh, three, well, we're going to draw currents. So let's look at this for a second. We got a really nice super node here. Let me draw this, let me circle this super node for us. It's a really nice super node. Look at that excluding the resistor. I went over a little bit, but I shouldn't have gone over here. Yeah, no you can't. So that is all one gigantic super node. So let's count it like that. Let's do I1, I2, I3, I4. Okay, I1, I2, I3, I4. So, now we're gonna do four uh, easy nodes. Do we have any easy? Yeah, we do actually, V3, that's cool. V3 equals 20, V3 equals 20. That's an easy one. Five other nodes, other nodes KCL. All right, so now we've got this massive super node here, and that's going to make this a little bit easier for us. So we're gonna have I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 equals zero. Cool. So let's look first off, what is I1? I1 is going to be minus two. Nice and easy, cool. We've got I2, which is gonna be what? V1 minus zero over two. V1 minus zero over two. Plus we've got I3, which is gonna be V2 minus zero over four. V2 over four. And we've got our last one here on the side. We've got V2 minus V3 divided by four. V3 is 20 though, remember that. So we've got V2 minus 20 divided by four equals zero. So now we've got that, we've already substituted that into here, we've already put that in for I1. Cool, so let's multiply, it looks like four is the thing to multiply by here. And that's going to give us, what do we got? Minus eight plus two V1 plus V2 plus V2 equals 20. All right, um, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. So let's bump that up. So that's 2v2, two 2v1 two, two plus 2v2 equals 28. Ah, I could have done it by two. Oh well, whatever. 2v1, two 2v2, two 28. That looks nice to me. Let's save that. Okay, that's our first equation. Now, what's our next equation that we get from this? Well, the next thing we have to do is do this, the internal supernode equation. And so what we have to say is, what is the voltage difference from V1 to V2? What is that drop? What is that difference? Well, it's simple. Again, we have a voltage source here. We've got V1 
plus 12 equals v2. So v1 plus 12 equals v2. And if we rearrange that, that's v1 minus v2 equals minus 12. Boom, that's our second equation. Boom, let's solve this. v1, v2, number. We've got this, we've got this, we've got this, and we've got this, and this is equal to this and this. So we're going to get minus, we're going to get, no, positive 1, minus 1, minus 12, and then this one we've got 2, 2, and 28. 2, 2, 28. And that's going to solve out on the calculator A minus 1, matrix A minus 1, matrix B equals answer. And we're going to get 1 and 13 for that. And that's going to be equal to V1. And it's going to be equal to V2. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. So then we're going to do our last part of this V equals IR. And it's going to be 1 because V1 equals I times 2. Cool, cool, cool. And that is going to be I equals 0.5. Um, and that I is referring <laughs> referring to actually I2 here. Let's just do that. I2, I2, I2 equals 0.5. Make it a little clearer. Cool. Not too bad there. Let's move on to the next one.